tell you about a product. It is a gluten-free pie crust. This is one of the difficulties if you're trying to eat gluten-free. It's from Holy Wholesome. It's a really terrific option if you are trying to have that, that uh, kind of Thanksgiving pie gluten-free. So I'm going to combine it with a recipe, uh, kind of an adaption to a recipe we found on SkinnyTaste.com, which I'll link you to. But you start with 15 ounces of your uh, whole pumpkin or canned pumpkin. I did not puree my own pumpkin because you know I'm big lazy. <laughs> but this is actually a can of pumpkin. You're going to want 15 ounces, so half of the big can. Uh, again, we're lightening this up, so we're going to have one whole egg and two egg whites. And I got a little yellow in there, but I don't think it's going to kill us. Now, I am using three quarters of um, brown sugar, but you can also substitute half of this brown sugar, half Truvia, half of your other kind of zero calorie sweetener, or even the whole thing can be that Truvia and you would be okay. Uh, I really kind of like it. All the other flavors, you don't miss having a ton of real sugar in there. We're going to put in a half a cup of skim milk. We're going to put in two tablespoons of lighter butter if you want or real butter if you're feeling like you've exercised a lot this week and it's fine you can have real butter uh, the other thing you want to make sure to add is our vanilla and three spices we're going to do a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and a little bit of nutmeg and you might think that's a little spicy for your pumpkin pie, but because I might be substituting my sugar and I'm going to have the gluten-free pie crust, I want to have a little bit of a kick with my pumpkin pie. So like what we always say, we take away some of the fat, some of the sugar, and we add a lot of flavor. So that's it. That's it. My pie filling is pretty much done. Just make sure it's combined there. I could have probably done a better job melting that butter. But... I could probably do a better job with a lot of things. I'm a princess for Pete's sake. I should have people melting this butter for me. Josie! No, I'm just kidding. I'm getting insufferable around here. All right, so there is our pie filling. And again, I love this site, Skinny Taste. And I'm going to put this, uh, can you see this pie crust? Do you see that? It is wholly wholesome, gluten-free. Fill my pie crust and put it in there. And I did pumpkin pie because you know what? The holidays are just kind of around the corner and you know we want to have options. We don't want it to be the big derailment of all of our fantastic plans. So if you plan ahead, look for these recipes now. This is one of my favorites. This will, you will lose nothing by doing this to your pie. <laughs> and how nice it would be for someone who's gluten free in the family to not have to worry. So there it is. And you cook it between, I do it about 350. That piece of butter, we're going to cover it, pretend we don't see it. There we go. Someone's going to be lucky who gets the middle of that. Uh, thanks for watching FullPlate.tv. Uh, I will link all these things on the website so you can get the recipes and to our fabulous guests. Take care.